And it's that snow is so white, it's blinding. <laughs> it's a lot brighter than the dull rain we got out yeah. there right now. It's just great. So what do you say? We got snow in Arkansas, but uh, yeah. rain here in Wisconsin. Big storm system. <laughs> what is happening? We got a big area of low pressure in between the two of us. We're on the warm side of that. Mm -hmm. And then that cold air is wrapping around. Are you doing a mime yeah, or a dance? One of these. Yeah, one of those. Now you get it, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's just been rain for us. And that will be the case for most of this storm system, which, yeah, it sounds crazy. New Mexico, uh, Dallas, uh, well, not Dallas, Dallas saw rain as well, but uh, over towards New Mexico, portions of the plains and Arkansas. Yeah, they got some snow, but uh, that's all that cold air wrapping around this area of low pressure for us. Again, we're on the warm side of things where we have uh, temperatures around 40 degrees and here's some rainfall amounts so far, and these are climbing as we speak and some of these a little bit older. So uh, Racine Ken reporting three tenths of an inch of rain, Burlington nearly two tenths of an inch of rainfall and at Mitchell International roughly two tenths of an inch of rain as well. All right, this is a live look in Waukesha where the rain is Still coming down at a good clip, 37 degrees in Waukesha, so above the freezing mark, and that's very important. Winds out of the southeast at 16 miles per hour, just a raw day out there in Milwaukee, 41 degrees, with that southeast wind at 21 miles per hour. Across southeastern Wisconsin, everybody above that freezing mark. Yes, if it'd be 5 to 10 degrees colder, we'd be dealing with a lot of ice, if not snow, uh, here in southeastern Wisconsin. 39 in Sheboygan, 38 in Watertown, 41 degrees in Whitewater. So as we go through your weather headlines, again, we'll have a nasty day outside. Uh, you step out right now, especially things are not nice. More rain and gusty winds on the way. And then we could see a change over to some snow by tomorrow afternoon. At this time, we'll be watching an area of snowfall start to pivot in here from the northwest. This afternoon, it's all rain. Storm 4 Max radar continues to show a good, healthy rain from Milwaukee to Waukesha. Points to the north Fond du Lac over towards Racine. But notice the back edge of this first wave of rainfall clearing through our southwestern spots. So locations like Whitewater, Lake Geneva, if not already very soon, uh, going to see a break from this rainfall. And eventually we see this break in the rain as well here in Milwaukee. Pretty good dry slot setting up here across western Illinois. But eventually this slot will fill in with more showers, but it will be a bit more scattered and lighter than what we're seeing right now. The snow pivoting around uh, soon. Kansas City will see that change over to some snow. All right, future forecast here. Uh, again, the rain becomes a bit more scattered by 3 o'clock. Not completely over with, but scattered showers continue. In fact, it looks like we might get another good wave of rain to move through here at 630 and then scattered showers continue overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning uh, before potentially this wave of snow dips down here and we change over by four or five o'clock tomorrow afternoon. How much uh, rainfall additional on top of what we've already picked up? The potential is there for another quarter to maybe a half inch of rain starting now through tomorrow and then the snow tomorrow afternoon may be adding up to around a half inch on the grassy surfaces. Not going to be a big snow for us. All right, your forecast for today. Windy with showers around a half inch of rain during the day today. 46 for your high for tonight. A low temperature of 40 degrees windy with more showers likely and here's your seven day forecast. Rain showers change to snow showers by Friday afternoon. That high of 42 will be in the morning tomorrow morning and then we fall into the 30s. 30 for a high on Saturday, mostly sunny. Sunday, mostly sunny, 36. On Monday, New Year's Eve, we're going to have to keep an eye on a storm system that as of right now brings some rain and snow to the area. 37 on Monday. A few snow showers could linger New Year's Day with a temperature of 30 degrees and then by Wednesday, a high of only 20 degrees. There's your winter, but it would be nice to have some snow to play with too, guys. All right. Thanks, Brian.